Hey everybody, it's Hydragon Lollipop. Last time, we completed Route 203, battled everyone here, collected every single item, heard me talk, and this time we're going to be entering Orberg Cave, or city. This is a cave, not a city. Um, but yes, inside this cave, or city, <laughs> um, you can find Zubats, Psyducks, and Geodudes. I'm actually going to catch a Geodude as soon as we talk to this guy. Luckily for us, this is not actually a battle. That sparkly new Pokech. Your awkwardness as a traveler. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fella. Friend of Pokemon. So, let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. Obtained HM06. Yes, he just hands it to you. Um, this is Rock Smash. See that little tiny rock down in the corner? Um, the one that's all cracked. Uh, you can actually break those if we teach you to a Pokemon after learning, uh, after beating a gym. We need to beat the first gym to be able to use that, uh, hidden machine. Um, you can't use Pokemon. Okay. We can't use it outside of battle. But we can break all these rocks afterward. But inside this cave, I'm actually going to try to find a Geodude. It's probably going to be Zubat. Oh, wow. I am so, so lucky. Um, this is a Geodude. Geodudes are uh, rock ground types. They have pretty good stats. In fact, I even considered it being part of my team, which it's not going to be. But, um, yeah, I'm going to catch it for the thing I call, like to call an HM Slave. <laughs> I just, I don't know. But, uh, once we weaken this Pokemon a little bit more... Now, Mud Sport is kind of annoying. It'll weaken Electric-type moves. As Water Sport will weaken, um... Well, uh, Fire-type moves. And Pokeball! One Shake, two Shake, three Shake! Ah. Uh. Gotcha! Geodude was caught! Um... I'm still trying to think of a... Oh my gosh, I just got the corniest name to pop into my head. And I'm gonna name it that if I have no spaces. Uh, let's see. Okay... Rock... Yes! Rocket Man! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there we go. We have Rocket Man here. Um, he's a quirky nature. Um, Rockhead protects Pokemon from recoil damage from moves like Takedown, um, Flare Blitz, uh, Double Edge, and stuff like that. But here we go, we're gonna continue on. I think this Pokemon, this trainer is gonna have a Zubat, so I'm gonna send out uh, Ray. Because I need to have Ray out there anyway. Switch this Quick Claw around. I'm so glad that in, um. Oh crap, just gave him a Repel. What did I do that for? I'm so glad that in Black and White they had Swap instead, so you can just keep switching them um, from Pokemon to Pokemon. That was nice. But here we go. Pokemon Trainer. This is very bad idea if it's a Geodude, but I'm pretty sure she starts with a Zubat. This is all uh, just me thinking that... Oh, okay. Starly, that works too. Uh, this is not a, Ge a Geodude, because Geodude, since it's a ground type, it has no effect. Uh, it is n it cannot take damage from any electric type moves. So that's kind of a bummer. Spark! Very nice. That KOs it. The foe Starly fainted. Oh, nice. Uh, I think, yep, Ray leveled up. At 448. Just like last episode was 848 and 1214. I don't remember completely. Oh, crap. <laughs> 
Um, sending out Shinx. I'll send out Flare. What the heck? We're now level 14 with Ray, so. And I do need to grind a little bit on Flare because he's going to be my hopefully guy that can beat the the gym. Um. Luckily, since he now has Mock Punch, it's going to make fighting Rock types so much easier. Uh, because obviously fire is super weak to rock rock is super effective to fire and fire has barely any effect on rock so fighting type moves really help with that tremendously and you're gonna box me in you little jerk to celebrate me get uh, my getting through this cave I'm gonna battle you you're not through the cave yet gosh but everyone, happy Monday. Uh, it is Monday the... 10th? Wow. <laughs> that sounds scary, considering I'm still in uh, May. But yeah. Uh, by the end of this week, we'll probably have two gym badges, I'm, I'm thinking. Maybe not. Maybe we'll get two on next Monday. But we're, we're going to be pretty far. Uh, we're definitely going to be getting our gym badge next time, not this time. There's so much stuff you have to do before it. But, uh, yeah, we're getting through. And she boxed me in. You know, I made it through that cave with only catching the Pokemon I wanted, and only finding the Pokemon I wanted. That's perfect. Now, in cities, there are no Pokemon trainers that will battle you. Um, so this guy is not actually going to be a trainer to battle. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You'd better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon Gym. They synchronized their walking. <laughs> huh? There's someone there. Uh, dude! You're, you're like following me around? What the heck? Huh? Oh, it's you, Nathan. You finally got here? You jerk. You didn't have to battle every trainer. You're slow as old, like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym, leader, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you'd better go, get, uh, go off to the mine. You go to the mine! You were here first! Dude! <laughs> but in all serious- Oh crap, what the heck was that? Oh, that was a that was my 3ds charger. That was really weird. That scared the crap out of me But um in all seriousness, there's a ton of stuff we can do around this uh, town So we best get on to it first off. Where is the Pokemon Center? What is what is your what do you have ADHD woman? I think she does I Trapped you. How does that make you feel? um yeah, let's just, let's just go into the Pokemon Center. And uh, if we talk to, I think it's this person. Hmm. What's your favorite kind of trainer? Can you tell me? Um, we can see what kind of trainer we would like to be. Since uh, I do not have the trainer I like so far, I'm just going to click Rich Boy. A Rich Boy is the kind of trainer you want to be? I see. So Rich Boy is the kind of trainer you like? That's gaze. Others may come to see you in that same way. Okay. Then, I'll just talk to you later. Uh, there'll be more of them throughout the game, and they will pick the trainer you want to look like in the union room. Uh, they, uh, I'll show you guys the trainer uh, when we come across it. Why are you guys staring daggers at each other again? Dudes! Cool it, guys. Dude, dude, it's okay. He's, he's your friend. But, um, hey, Nurse Joy. Uh, let's talk to you. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tag Pokemon's full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? No, I'd just like to talk to you. Yep. But, um, yeah. <laughs> we're really getting done in this game. We're on the sixth part, and we're already to, um, Orberg City. That's that's pretty crazy. That's, that's, that's incredible. But, yeah, um, I think it's in the skyscraper I have to go. There's both, there's, there, oh my gosh, there are two of them. Uh, it's on the second floor, I think. No. 
Oh, wait, this might actually be the guy. Dude. Dude. The view's good from the second floor, but it's a pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geodude? Oh, that Pokemon. That's a Geodude. Wow, that's cool. It's so cute. It's a rock! You want to see cute? I'll show you my Shinx. That does it. I'll go out and catch Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. This is a token of my thanks. We obtained the Heal Ball. When you catch Pokemon in that, it heals itself instantaneously. Once it's being caught, it's a one-time use, I believe. I don't think it heals it after every battle. That'd be cheap. But um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of useless. But um. I think I've done everything I need to do. So I'm going to be go ooh, ooh Pokeball, you elude me. Must get that Pokeball. Where is it? There's gotta be like a secret path to get down there. <gasps> there there are two of them! <gasps> ooh. I like the bulldozers. Excuse me, sir, I'm just gonna take your Dire hit, which is another X thing, uh, just boost your criti critical hit ratio. And a yellow shard. People will trade you stuff for that later in the game, which, which is okay. Look at all the coal they're mining. Wow. That is crazy. Let's, uh, let's just follow where it goes. I've always, I've always loved this town. I think it's so cool. Let's, let's see what the factory has to say. You're taking tour of the coal mine. Wonderful! That's excellent of you! It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. <laughs> yeah. You wish! But, okay. This I never understood. What is the point of having a dip there? There is no point! I can see this! Because you gotta be able to move the, the tractors in and out of here. So it needs to go up and then it can gradually go down back to the size. But what the heck?! They, they couldn't just build this up two tiers high? They couldn't just keep that flat level? That always bothers me! I can see everything else plain and clearly. It all fits, but what is the point of this? There is no point! Ah! I bumped my desk. But, uh, yes, we're in the Orberg Mine. It's actually kind of cool in the Orberg Mine. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can find, including a ton of new Pokémon. Include, well, not a ton of new Pokemon, just an Onyx. Um, and Onyxes, well, that's in the way. Onyxes are actually really cool Pokemon. I loved, uh, I actually remember sitting in my room, keep continuing, continuously trying to find an Onyx. And I could not find one. It's not that rare. But, um, if I run into an Onyx, I'm gonna, like, flip. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Also, how do they gradually get that much co coal consistently? That doesn't make sense. But hey, dude, dude, I met this Montop on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. They've? You said this Montop? Oh, this guy too, probably. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I stuck my Pokemon to work. Oh, battle! I never battled this guy, just because- Oh crap, is Shinx out in front? Poop. Oh. Fantastic. Go, Flare! Then you got the weight. Using Mud Sport. <laughs> As if they're just gonna, the Shinx is gonna stay here. Why would it need to weaken electric electro type moves uh, power if, if it doesn't affect them? That doesn't make sense at all. And I'm seriously hoping I can actually do well in this uh, gym leader fight, con considering that I can't even take out a level nine Geodude in one hit. That could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, we're almost to next level. Um, take this item and give it back to Flare. And then we switch it to Flare. I was just about to comment how we have not found a single wild Pokemon in this entire cave yet. And then, 
instantaneously we find one. Like, it's thinking it is Murphy's Law. Ah, <laughs> uh, we found a potion, which is okay. Um, and who is this man? This weird, girly haired man with red hair, red, long red hair. What do you have to say? Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick bat. Oh, come on! <laughs> I, I've never talked to you guys before. I, I, I just didn't used to talk to people in Pokemon games. So, <laughs> I didn't actually do this before. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Didn't realize so many Pokemon trainers were actually just in this stupid cave. But okay, Mock Punch did take that out. But uh, I think that gee, I think there's actually a level 12. Uh, I think it's a 12. That was a burp. I think it's a 12 level 12 Pokemon in the uh, gym. But yeah, this is a mod shop, so I probably should use Ember because Mock Punch is barely gonna do anything. Oh. Oh, that's that is knocked out. Come on, I can even waste my time with the other move. That sucks. Oh man, I have three hundred and two dollars for winning. Is Mach Machop is there? Oh, an Onyx. Well, crap. Man, I was sitting in my room for at least an hour trying to find this thing, and I could not find it. It was just my luck. Maybe the, the effectiveness or the likelihood is lower in diamond or pearl. Um, I think Mock Punch will kill it. I'm, I'm, I will catch it if I can and just put it in my box. Oh, cool! Harden. Fantastic. A long serpent-like thing is hardening. I'll couch it in my heel ball, because we have no other point for it. <laughs> Never gonna need it. One shake? What? One does not simply break out of a Pokeball. At red health. It's gotta be less powerful than a Pokeball, then. It's a red health, it's level 7. What is the catch rate on this? Whoa! You know, I am ticked now. I'm gonna catch this Pokemon. Come on. One shake. What the heck? Does it even have any physical attacks? Like, seriously? I will waste $1,000 worth of Pokeballs on this. No! I feel like I'm trying to catch, like, Dialga! What the heck? No shakes. Well, I am down to my last Pokeball. Pokeball. It's like, I'm just, I just go into a battle and throw a thousand dollars on the floor. Oh my gosh. That is so bad. Well, we have to kill it. I don't have any more Pokeballs. Oh my gosh. And it apparently does have a physical attack. Ah, oh, you made me in red. I will kill you. Or not red, yellow. Oh my gosh. I, th this battle's making me delirious. I, I, what the heck? It's an Onyx. What's the catch rate? Do you have to come in here blazing with Ultra Balls? You false swipe and then put it to sleep? But finally, let's just talk to this guy. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen bowlers need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get a bat from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Well, you're just gonna walk away. I would battle you right now. 
but it looks like we're gonna have to go all the way back to the gym uh, just because he wasn't considerate enough to do it right now and if that was another onyx that would have been crazy go flare flare run away I ran away okay let's go through that is a huge doorway I should be able to like get in on it both sides how did I become in a wild battle on the stairs that's not right you shouldn't have wild Pokemon on stairs it's like trying to have a Pokemon when you like walk into a wall what is the point of this this does not make sense just like this does not make sense there is no point in this so guys thank you all for watching or please subscribe next time we'll be challenging the gym and uh, talking about how there is literally no point in this dip at all there is no point other than showing it off with like the different palettes they have or because they don't have a single oh the designers were being lazy they don't have a single vertical piece or horizontal piece going that way and they didn't want to have to make one oh my gosh okay thank you all for watching or please subscribe this has been let's play pokemon platinum part six thank you all for watching and goodbye remember to give this video a thumbs up comment about what you liked and don't forget to subscribe thank you all for watching Peace!